So hopefully you can hear me okay uh, sitting out here in the barn. Uh, it's our trailer. <laughs> we still got it loaded up uh, with the majority of the stuff that was still there other than our washer and dryer. Uh, yeah, biggest reason for that is because this was only going to be a temporary setting where we're at. So there are a few different properties that we're looking at. But hopefully as of today, <laughs> we're closing on the house in Virginia. So by the time you guys are watching this, uh, we should have already have closed on our home. Today was the final walkthrough. And all the repairs that needed to be done have happened. <coughs> you can hear my voice. I'm still getting over COVID. Um, I'm still not 100% there. The family is doing good, though. Uh, we are healing up. It's only me and the, the, the big kiddo that actually tested positive, but all four of us, uh, really, we did get sick, um, but Gladys and the little one, they tested negative for actual COVID, but it is what it is, the, the test, you know, I, I think it does give false negatives or false positives, but regardless, we're doing okay, and uh, it, it happens, right? <laughs> You work around it for so so much, you know, for people that were getting sick, never got it, and then you move halfway across the country, and then you get sick. <laughs> so that, that's that's Murphy's law, as someone had put. I think it was on Facebook when I posted it, but yeah. And I do want to show you guys an update to the well. I know some of you guys have been worried about that. Uh, with water and I uh, also want to talk a little bit about what we had to do <laughs> last night to be able to take a shower because we didn't have water but the well house was down so I'm just glad that you know Gladys has been through that situation before of being able to gather rainwater which is what we had to do last night is gather some rainwater boil some of that water to be able to heat up with the cold rainwater and then utilize that to, to dump over the kids' heads and over our heads uh, to shower. So basically helping each other out. Uh, Gladys had washed up the, the kids. She washed me and then I washed her. You are helping with the water. So, <clears throat> yeah, it's, hey, you got to do what you got to do. But we're also thankful that, you know, we have great friends that are letting us stay on their property. Uh, he's actually went through and he's already fixed the well. He already had parts here on on uh, the property at their other well house that they don't utilize because they're all city water. And uh, the house that we're in now can be on city water, uh, but it's, it's not connected. There, there is a, um, the city main going to the, uh, I can't think of the, the word of it right now, the meter, um, but the, from the meter to the well house or to the house itself, there's no lines ran, but actually I can go show you, so let's go check it out. All right, so right here is the city meter, so it's basically all the way up on the hill. And then if I rotate you guys around to be able to see, 
where this goes, it goes all the way here and then back around this way. You guys are probably going to hear a bunch of creaking and then all the way over there. <laughs> so I don't know exactly how far that is, but it's a good distance and it would not be cheap to get that line ran because uh, the city's not going to do it. That's all piping that you got to buy yourself. And then if you can see it right there, <laughs> that's going to be all throughout, all the way up there, all the way through this area, coming all the way up to the, to the well house rocks because yeah, that's all part of Arkansas. That's what happens. And if you can see down here, just outside or bottom part of the frame is the old tank that used to be in here. So the bladder of this tank. So if you don't know how this the tanks for a well system works, is that it has a separate bladder system that's inside and it should constantly be holding a uh, PSI or pressure of air. Um, so once this gets filled up with, with water, you know, it's, it's able to pump enough water in there to build up that resistance or pressure. And then it's able to push that back out. So when you don't have any water whatsoever inside this tank, it should still have air pressure that you can check via the little, uh, Schrader valve it looks like a bicycle valve, bicycle tire valve, or a car tire valve, Schrader valve, right? On top of the tank. And it's going to have, your tank, it should have a sticker uh, somewhere on it that shows what the pressure should be uh, set from the factory. So as long as it's really close to that, that's where it should. But if it ever goes down to zero, nine times out of ten, or probably a hundred percent of the time, that bladder that's on the inside of your tank is ruptured so it's no longer holding air all right so and at that point you need to replace your tank but that's not the only issue we had let's look inside the well house all right so welcome to the inside of the well house this is a little dark in here um, there's no really lights obviously you can see we still got to clean up uh, there's still a lot of dirt and mud and and all this other nonsense or the little part down here that we've already fixed is still leaking um, so there's going to be water and stuff going through and I don't know if you can tell but we actually had to replace the switch so our our switch is now brand new or I didn't do it this is all work that James did James and his son came out obviously I'm still dealing with the COVID so trying to relax, supposed to be relaxing, but he brought in the other tank from his other well house, got a brand new switch, which this one is an upgrade. And it also has the little safety there on the side to where you can turn off the power uh, here instead of having to go all the way to the breaker, uh, which for ours is not too bad. It's just basically right there on the pole next to the house. But yeah, uh, I think our biggest thing right now, obviously, is going to be getting this place cleaned up. And when, as I had mentioned earlier, by the time you guys see this, we have we'd have closed on our house. And yes, we did get the official word that we were officially closed. So now we're just waiting on the money. But once that comes in, we are going to help out with this because obviously we do not own this well house. We don't own the stuff in here, but we did say that we are going to help maintain it, help clean it, get it, you know, fixed up with the insulation, get it all sealed off. That way they're, they're not going to be having issues with this in the future because that's what happened uh, with a lot of this was the pipes froze. That tank had froze from the, the real bad winter that had came through here. I believe last year or the year before where it got down to negative 10 and that was the that real bad cold snap that went all the way down to like south texas when you had all that 
that major uh, freezing in, in Houston and just, yeah, all those things that people just could not uh, deal with because their houses and stuff were not made for that. But there we go. Once again, the, uh, the well house has struck us <laughs> down once again, but it is up. It's operational. So those of you that have been reaching out to us via Facebook or Instagram, we definitely appreciate you guys. Uh, you're definitely close to our hearts. You're our family as our community here, uh, does state that we are all, we are all family, friends and family combined together. And whew, yeah, uh, it's so nice being able to have water, <laughs> uh, but there's still a lot of work that needs to be done here. So definitely continue to follow the journey. If you're not subscribed, go ahead and click that subscribe down below. It's free. Why not? Especially if you made it this far. And hey, we actually have our own bonfire store in case you guys did not know. Go check it out. That link is down in the description, along with a few other links you can go check out at your leisure. And remember, always thank a veteran at every chance you get. And we'll see y'all in the next one. Bye-bye now.